Why? Turn you off? What do we call the object used for sweeping? Sweeper, broom, mop. Broom. Sweeping a chimney. Joey, did you eat my face cream? Where are you going? The vicar won't be home for hours. Joey? Where did you learn that word? Where do you think? Zelda? Sorry, I went in there to take a nap, and I know I shouldn't have, but you got bored. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't care. I'm not ashamed of my book. There's nothing wrong with a woman enjoying a little erotica. It's just a healthy expression of female sexuality, which, by the way, is something that you will never understand. You got bored. <laughs> Zelda. Who are you supposed to be? The vicar. Do you even know what a vicar is? Like a goalie, right? Yeah. Look, Joey, it's enough, all right? You keep making these stupid jokes and these sleazy innuendos, and it's, I'm not, it's just not funny anymore. Innuendo means to suggest something sexual by talking about it directly, to suggest something sexual by talking about it indirectly, to suggest something sexual by making jokes. To suggest something sexual by talking about indirectly. All right, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I can make it up to you by taking you roughly in the barn. Oh. <laughs> All right, you know what? That's it. You want to do it? Let's do it. Huh? <laughs> I want to do it with you been trying to fight it, but you just said all the right things. Uh, I, I did? Yeah. Oh, it took so long to get on that body. This body? <laughs> Come on, Joey, sex me up. To sex something up means to make it funny and hilarious, to make it more interesting and exciting, to make it boring and tedious. To make it more interesting and exciting. sound like the butcher's wife there in, in chapter seven. Oh, come on now, don't keep me waiting. Get those clothes off. But I would keep that helmet on, because you're in for a rough ride. I don't want to, I'm scared. All right. Now, rem 